Robert McLean uh, and is organizer of DevConf. Did I say, is that the right pronunciation? 100% correct. DevConf. DevConf. Conf. 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 That's very <laughs> conference. The conf. And it's nothing yes. to do with deaf people. It's no. totally something different. It's for software developers. That's the thing. So just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do for a living. So I'm a Microsoft software. I'm a software developer at Microsoft mm -hmm. um, in my day job, and I work with young people and try and help upskill them and make sure that they're ready for going out into the wider world of having a career as a software developer. Uh, but more importantly, in my evenings, I, I kind of spend time trying to find ways to share knowledge, train, skill up people. And this year we ran a, a conference for the first time called DevConf. I attracted almost 500 people to it. Mm. So it's the largest independent conference. We had a number of sponsors, uh, almost 50 speakers. International speakers came out uh, and it was quite, quite the exciting day for us actually. Mm. Are you from South Africa originally? Scottish. Are you Scottish? Yes. Scottish. Scottish. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> when it gets to the the um, conference which you guys hosted, um, is there a specific theme you guys usually address, or, or what it's about? Is it about? The main thing about is to give software developers a platform where they can mm -hmm. come and share and share honestly and openly. So not have a corporate or a company dictating what the message is. We want people to be able to come out there, share their real world experiences, talk to each other, learn from each other, and so on. This year, very much, I think, if we look at uh, things like software, the craftsmanship of software, how do we build it? How do we make it sustainable? Uh -huh. We look at the emerging trends in apps and technology like that. And we look at, and also importantly, looking forward to things like the DevOps revolution, which is uh -huh. really going to change the way we build software. Mm. What is the trends like in the app business at the moment? So definitely in apps at the moment, the trends are moving to having more distributed apps. So the apps are based on the cloud, they're connected on the back end, and you'll have more smaller apps that are working together. So Facebook's a very good example of this. Facebook went and took their one big app and split it into two apps now. So we have Facebook app for where you see your data and see your friends and a separate one for messaging because those are two different things. You want to work with that differently. But ultimately, that all goes back to the same back end and works with the cloud. And that's very much where we see in the trend of apps is more complexity, but splitting it up and having more options and tailored interfaces mm. for it. So even even us with, with the radio, we've got an app. So if you want to listen to us, you get the Groot FM app. Uh, is it you think business is going to survive without going into apps? Definitely not. Mm. There is no business that isn't a software business today. Mm. Many businesses, you know, um, as Peter was saying earlier around Uber, that's a business where information is the key and software is the way you leverage that. Traditional businesses, maybe like a bank that doesn't see themselves traditionally as an information business, Software becomes the thing that makes it more efficient, that lowers the cost of, of overheads, makes it easier for your customers to engage, gives a more personal feel to people. Mm. And that's really what everybody wants at the end of the day, is to feel special and to feel personal. And so be, every business is going to have to invest into apps. Every business is going to have to invest into more software going mm. forward. So we know stories like the teenager in Britain is 18 years old or 15 or 17 and he sells his business for $14 million, you know, Correct, um, yeah. his app. When are we going to see that in South Africa? Is, we, it, is it a possibility for someone just to make a quick 300 mil? I think South Africa is probably the prime place for the next one of that. Uh, Africa as a whole has a number of challenges that are forcing us to look at solutions that, in a way that no one else in the world is. So in the rest of the world, people have high bandwidth. They have always connected devices. And that makes it kind of easy for them to build things. Mm. We're going to have these challenges where how do you connect on a device that has bad signal all the time? and find interesting things, and I think that's going to change the world. And we're starting to see it. You know, one of our speakers at DevConf is a fantastic guy called Simon Stewart, and he has been working with an app called Bambisa around education and sharing and knowledge, and it's taking off like crazy in South Africa, and now they're going around the world with this, and it's now they're talking to schools and organizations in the UK, mm. and so I think this is definitely starting to happen in South Africa. Mm.